Hello, everybody. It's <laughs> Joe, aka Nerdfist, uh, and I'm here today out uh, taking Stephen for a walk. Say hello, Stephen. Hey, little little Stephen, little Stephen. Uh, we're out here today, um, actually taking a, a little bit of a, a visit to uh, Birdman Village. You can see we're we're out here. Um, bit of a ghost town. Nobody really comes out here <laughs> very much. So, um, but I thought that I would come here today to check out something that's, uh, that's been here, uh, since, I, I guess, before my time. I guess it was, uh, here when I started playing here. And I've never actually seen it till recently. I think I heard one or two people, uh, talk about it. And, uh, you right there, Steven? You okay? Good piggy. Good piggy. Um... I've heard a few people talk about it, and I thought that uh, now would be the perfect time to go see it, because uh, just recently, uh, a couple days ago, Neil Armstrong passed away. Yes, the first man to walk on the moon uh, is no longer with us, and uh, it's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame. Uh, now, I've always been very interested in uh, space travel. As you can see, it looks like there's uh, something over there that might go to space. Um, <laughs> uh, I've always been very interested in uh, space travel. Uh, of course, when I was a little kid, you know, wanted to be an astronaut. What is, what is that over there? It's like a, it's a house. It looks like some kind of statue or something. Uh, <laughs> but anyway... Uh, of course, wanted to be a uh, an astronaut when I was younger, uh, and uh, I, you know, actually, I, I have the 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 IQ to work for NASA. I just don't have the uh, the smarts, I guess. Uh, you know, I don't have the uh, the patience or the uh, the book learning. I guess would be <laughs> would be, you know what they you know what they might call it the. Uh, you know, school, I don't have the patience for it. Uh, now entering the Arcadia Military Facilitar. Please stick to the path and check your weapons. Well, we're not going to do that. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody here <laughs> to to uh, to check our weapons uh, or to give them back. Um, now, when I, when I found out that uh, Neil Armstrong had died... Uh, I, uh, I went to, uh, to to tell my mother. Um, now, when I told her, I made the mistake of uh, saying <laughs> John Glenn instead of uh, Neil Armstrong. And uh, there's a cow up here. Why is there a cow in a military facelladar? Facelladar. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cow. Would you like a fish? Hmm? They're delicious. Ooh. Oh, I thought he ate it for a minute. <laughs> but uh, I told my mother, and I accidentally said uh, John Glenn instead of uh, Neil Armstrong, and <laughs> she started getting a little upset. And I was like, "What? What? You know? What? What's going on? What's uh? You know? What's up with you? What does the sign say? Welcome to the NASA facility. Please proceed to the gate." Uh, I guess this is the gate here. Yes, this is working fine. That's our, uh, our tax dollars at work. Our gates. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, big, big, uh, space shuttle and, uh, a rocket. Space shuttle and a rocket. Uh, so I told my mother, and she started, she goes, she goes, no, not John Glenn, oh no, and I was like, what, you know, what, what, you know, what's the deal about John Glenn, uh, North Arcadia Space Administration Headquarters, uh, so I said, what, <laughs> you know, what's your deal with John Glenn, and apparently, when my mother was younger, I guess, uh, you know, five you know, six or seven, somewhere in that, that age range, she had a <laughs> massive crush on uh, John Glenn. What does this say? 
above observation deck, so I guess take a look see. Ooh, we got some some stadium sheeting here. Looking out over the uh the racket. With the red tip. It's a little dirty. Uh <laughs> but uh she had a she had a crush on John Glenn and she was in the uh she was in the brownies, which I guess is like where you go before the Girl Scouts. And uh entrance to the rocket top walkway. So I guess we can go into that. Okay, there's a pressure pad. We can go in. Ooh. Oh, there we go. We made it. This looks like it's made of snow. Yeah, it's made of snow. It's kinda weird. Uh ooh. Uh so she had a <laughs> had a crush on John Glenn and she was in the brownies. And uh she um you know, she thought the astronauts, you know, had to be rich and I'm sure they do very, very well. Um but she you know she just knew that, you know, John Glenn must uh you know, have tons and tons of money and live in a big house. And for her <laughs> the biggest house was um uh I've got some controls here. Uh for her the biggest house that she knew of was a <laughs> Presbyterian church uh, near where they she w had her like brownies at her brownie meetings, and so she told you know everybody that uh, her boyfriend was John Glenn and he lived at the Presbyterian <laughs> Church down the road. Uh, like what? Like it's just so weird. Like why would <laughs> anybody live <laughs> at a church? I'm sure there are people that live at churches. But I think they're mostly like nuns. I don't think they're, you know, Pentecostals or living at living at church. But so then I, you know, I correctly, uh, you know, righted my <laughs> my mistake and told her that it was Neil Armstrong and not uh, not John Glenn. She was very relieved. Uh, I think we need to. I guess we got to get over there. Guess we got to get over there, find a way over there. Uh, but yeah, I've always liked uh, space travel. Been uh, you know, very interested in it. Of course, you know, recently we have stuff like uh, SpaceX and stuff that is kind of leaping with down launch pad development museum. Huh. Uh, this big hole. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like SpaceX and stuff like that, and of course, you know, we had uh, the new uh, Mars rover landed just, you know, a few weeks ago. Of course, I have to say I'm a little disappointed with the uh, the new uh, Mars rover. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Seems to be a, uh, <laughs> there's a fuel leak. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Hello. Leaking, uh, leaking some uh, flammable liquids. And uh seems to be a floating tree here. This is uh clearly some kind of experiment in uh anti gravity. <laughs> so, so maybe maybe we'll find a UFO uh somewhere in here. They've been exper I guess this is like a little greenhouse. A little greenhouse here. Very nice, very nice. But I think we're getting distracted. I think we need to go back this way. Um so yeah, I was uh, kind of disappointed with the new Mars rover because uh, maybe it's just I've been unlucky as far as uh, my <laughs> internet searches. Uh, but I was under the impression that this new Mars rover was going to have like full color HD, you know, pictures. Uh, you know, it's going to be awesome. The pictures it was going to send back. I guess this is the. Uh, this is the uh, the launch pad here. It was with snow. I guess it's supposed to hold the hold the wings. And of course, this is not how a uh, space shuttle <laughs> takes off. They you know they they piggyback. They don't uh, actually shoot off them shoot off uh, themselves. They kind of piggyback onto some big old rockets. Uh, but I guess that was you know probably a little bit too. <laughs> too big of an undertaking to build because this is probably you know pretty close to 
pretty, pretty close to scale, just about, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of very disappointed in the the pictures that the Mars uh, rover has been sending back because they've the ones I've seen have all been in black and white, no color. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of people had the uh, the blue sky theory uh, for Mars. Uh, that Mars, you know, does have, you know, blue sky very similar to, similar to Earth. Um, and I don't, I don't really guess we've gotten, uh, any good pictures. So, I mean, I don't know. If somebody, <laughs> if somebody's seen it, definitely, uh, give me a heads up. I'd like to see some, some real cool, uh, color, colored pictures from the Rivera. Um. Let's see, new machine control room. Oh, we already looked in there. Let's go, go up. Um, you know, because I was a, uh, you know, I was a nerd, you know, growing up, and I did, uh, like, space and astronauts. I did go to uh, space camp. <laughs> I, uh, of course, live in Georgia, which is uh, not too King Pooh Bar's hole in the wall. So I guess King Poobar made this, or helped make this. Um, all kinds of, all kinds of goodies in here. Um, so I did go to a, just a bedroom. Uh, I did go to a space camp. Uh, of course, uh, <laughs> I was kind of hoping for some kind of adventure like the space camp movie. Uh, if you've ever seen it. Uh, these kids accidentally get shot into space, and uh, this little robot <laughs> thing on Earth kind of helps them uh, get home. Um, but I did go to uh, did go to space camp. You know, visited the uh, the space center. Uh, I would have have really liked to have been able to uh, you know go to a launch or see a launch. Um, you know, at some point. Uh, I kind of really wanted to go see the last uh, shuttle launch, uh, but I wasn't I wasn't able to. So I guess now I have to wait for <laughs> you know something something else. Uh, although I, I guess you could go see a, a SpaceX uh, launch because that is who's you know doing NASA's stuff now. Uh oh, we found the <laughs> we found the oh no we found the uh, the gangplank the walkway. Oh God! I feel like oh, this is like Armageddon. I feel like Bruce Willis. Oh, we're going, we're marching. This is kind of oh my God! This is kind of like nerve-wracking walking, <laughs> walking out. You kind of get excited walking out to here. So here's the uh, here's the door. Let's go in. And uh, is this snow? where we're supposed to go. I have a feeling I'm not, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Ooh. Okay, we got some, <laughs> I think we're not supposed to be down here. Let's go up. Uh, oh, God. Freaking ladders. Oop. There we go. There we go. Let's close this. What's over here? A hidden chest. Got some sand, got some snow. Um, ooh, ooh. Oh god. Got some there's some beds here. This looks like the launch button. Yes, the launch button. Oh god. So do we do we lay down? Do we get in bed? You can't you can't uh oop, sleep. Eat the bed. Oh, and now it's, <laughs> that's not tough. So we can't actually probably lay back down uh, in here, but we can, we can hit the button. Oh, God, I'm scared. I don't know what's going to happen. This could all blow up. It could be, it could be horrible. But uh, let's, let's, let's do it. Here.
That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of cool. Let's do it again. Like, uh, it's like 2001 A Space Odyssey. This is kind of cool. If it was raining, we could get like a, uh, <laughs> like a flying through hyperdrive or a hyperspace kind of thing going on. Doing barrel rolls. Yes, I am that retarded. <laughs> oh, we got some switches here, some controls. Of course, you can't see out from here. Back up a. Oop! I can't see out a little bit. Need some laser guns at the front of it. <laughs> So, that has been the, uh, the Arcadia, oh, oh god, the Arcadia <laughs> Space Facility, Facility, in honor of uh, Neil Armstrong, who passed away August 25th. 2012. This is, uh, this has been Nerd Fist, aka Joe. Oh, wait, that's backwards. <laughs> this is, this is Joe, aka Nerd Fist. And this has been One Small Step for Man, One Giant Leap for Mankind. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy.